Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this image comparison slider using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that we have a different image over here on the left and on the right we have a different image. Now we can move this slider to the right or to the left. So if I move it to the right, we can see that the color image is being displayed over here. And if I move it to the left, we have the black and white image displayed. So in this way, you can add two different images and compare them by moving the slider. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called image comparison and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have a folder called images over here and in that we have these two images. Now let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html. And we also need to have a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And we'll also create a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. And let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here I'll just link the CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the HR file, I'll just type style.css. And in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So here I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. First of all, let's create an H1 for this heading. And here I'll just type compare these images. Right now, let's create a division to contain everything. So let's create a division with the class of image comparison. Now in this division, we'll create one more division to contain these two images. So let's create a division with the class of images container. And in that we will have these two images. So let's create an IMG tag. And uh, in the SRC, I'll just type images forward slash before dot JPG. And let's duplicate this. And here I'll just type after dot JPG. And we'll also give classes to each of these images. So let's type class. And for the first one, let's type before image and for the second one let's type class after image now after this image let's create a line for this line that we see over here so let's create a division for that and i'll just give it a class of slider line and we will style it using css and we also need to have this icon so we have this icon over here so for that let's create a division with the class of slider icon and in that we will have this icon. So let's go to heroicons.com and let's get this icon. Right here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for Chevron. And if we scroll down, we can see all these icons over here. Now we need to get this icon. So let's copy this SVG and let's paste it over here. Right now let's go outside this images container division and let's create an input tag and uh, we'll set the type to range and we'll also give it a class so let's set the class to slider and let's set the min and the max values so let's type min equals zero and we'll set the max to 100 All right i think that's it with the html now let's go to our css and let's start styling this so let's go to the style css file and first of all let's style the heading before that let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks so I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. So we have these two images and this icon and also this slider. All right now let's go back to our CSS and let's style the H1 first. So let's tap H1 and let's set the text align to center and let's set the font family to Let's try Poppins and uh, let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also set the padding to zero and margin to zero and we will add a margin top of 40 pixels and let's set the letter spacing to four pixels and we'll also change the color of the text to E43434. All right now let's style the image comparison division. So here we have this main division with the class of image comparison. So let's type image comparison and let's set the max width 
to 700 pixels and uh, we will set a margin of 40 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right and let's also set the width of the image to the parent so let's type images comparison img and let's set the width to 100% and the height to 100% and we'll also set the object fit to cover so that we have the correct aspect ratio All right now let's add some border radius so let's type border radius and let's set it to 20 pixels now we cannot see the border radius right now because the image doesn't have the border radius so for that you have to type overflow and set it to hidden and now we can see we have the border radius displayed over here and I think we can decrease the margin a little bit so let's set this to margin 20 pixels and auto All right now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the position of one of these images to absolute so before that let's set the position of the parent division to relative so here we have this parent division with the class of images container so let's type image comparison images container and let's set the position to relative and now let's select one of the images so we will select this image right here with the class of before image so let's type image comparison images container before image and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the top to zero and by default we need to set the width to 50 percent and now we can see this is how it looks we have this image over here and the other image on the right side now here we can see for this color image we have a lot of height so let's go back and we can just add a display of flex over here to the images container and now we can see we have the correct height now we also have to fix the position of this image so let's go back over here to the img and here we'll just add one more property called object position and we'll set it to left and now we can see we have the correct position for this image now if you go back over here and if I set the width to let's say 70% now we can see that the color image has 70% so it is working all right now let's style the slider so let's go back to our HTML and here we can see we have an input with a type of range and we also have a class of slider so here let's target that here I'll just type image comparison slider now we need to set the position to absolute and now we can see that the slider is displayed over here now we need to stretch this slider to the entire image so you can just type inset and set it to zero now this slider has a height of 100% of this image container so even if I drag from here the slider works right now the next thing we will do is we will add some JavaScript to make the width of this image work based on the slider position so for that let's go back to our code and if we go to the index.html file here we have this input with the class of slider and we need to reference this in our JavaScript and if I scroll up we also need to reference this before image because if you go to the style.css file here we can see for the before image we are setting the width so let's go to our main.js file and let's reference those elements so let's type const slider equals document.querySelector image comparison slider and const before image equals document dot query selector image comparison before image right now let's add an event listener to the slider so let's type slider dot add event listener and we will listen for the input event and let's create an arrow function over here and we'll also get the input value so for that let's pass a variable called e you can name this anything you want and let's store the value inside a variable so let's create a variable called slider value equals and here we need to type e dot target dot value so this will give us the value of the slider from 0 to 100 right now we need to set the width of this before image to the slider value so let's type before image dot style dot width equals 
slider value. And if we go back to the style or CSS file here, we can see we are adding it as a percentage. So here I'll also add plus percent. Right now let's see whether it works. So let's go back and let's move the slider. And here we can see that the image has the width according to the slider. So it is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to remove this slider from here and we need to add our own line and this icon. So let's go back to our CSS. And here for the slider, I'll just set the opacity to zero. And now let's style the slider line and slider icon. So here we have this division with the class of slider line. And then we also have this slider icon. So let's target that. Let's type image comparison slider line and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the height to 100% and we'll set the width to let's try 4 pixels and let's set the background color to white and we'll set the left value to 50% and now we can see we have this line now this line is not exactly in the center so here we also need to type transform translate x and set it to negative 50% now it is exactly in the center. All right, now let's style the slider icon. So let's type image comparison, slider icon. And let's set the position to absolute for this as well. And we'll set the left position to 50% and the top position to 50%. And let's also set the width and the height to 60 pixels. And let's also set the color of the icon to white. And here we can see that the icon is displayed over here. Now this is not exactly in the center. So we need to do the same thing that we did over here. So let's tap transform, translate. And here we need to add the X and the Y axis. So let's tap minus 50% and minus 50%. And now it is exactly in the center. Now we need to rotate this icon. So let's also type rotate Z and let's set the angle to 90 degrees. So now the icon is positioned correctly. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to set the left position of the line and the icon to the slider value. So let's go back to our HTML and we need to reference the slider line and slider icon into our JavaScript. So here let's type const slider line equals document dot query selector image comparison slider line and uh, let's type const slider icon equals document dot query selector image comparison and slider icon. Now we need to do the same thing for the slider line and slider icon as we did for this before image. So let's type slider line dot style dot left equals slider value and slider icon dot style dot left equals slider value. All right now let's go back to our website and now let's move this slider and now we can see everything works all right. So the image comparison design is working all right. So that's basically how you can create an image comparison using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.